Hi, welcome to Business Automated. Today I will show you how to send out different email templates out of Google Sheets using Gmail and Integromat. Let's get to it. The first step will be to create a new Google Sheet document inside of your Google Drive. So you can go ahead, click plus add new and here create a new Google Sheet. In our case, I have already a file open, which I called email list. So let's go to that file. And this is the structure inside of that file that we will be using. So we are having a column with the first name of the person that we will be sending the email to. We will use this in the salutation of our email. Then we are having a column with the email that will receive this particular message. And then we have two more columns. So that's the subject of the email and the body of the email. And final column will be a column which we are calling sent just to double check that our message has been sent so that we can see that visually. So all those columns are sitting in a sheet called email list. Now you will notice that I'm also having a second sheet here, which is called templates. Inside of templates, I have three different templates that I have already pre-written and that I'll be using to send out the emails. You can see that every template contains a subject of the email and the body of the email. As you will see, inside of the body of the email, this contains only the middle part of the email. It does not contain the salutation, such as dear so and so and hi, and it does not contain the final finishing part with, with, the, with the regards and or thank you at the end of the letter. So no signature included here as well. So um, let's see how we would make it work. So for example, we would select the first template, which is welcome on board, so subject and the body of this email. We'll copy it here and let's say we want to send it out to that first group of people. So we just copy paste it so all of them are having the same template. Now what we will need, we will need to use Integromat to send the email to those people. So if you have not used Integromat, you can find the link to Integromat in the description of this video below. And once you open Integromat, the first step will be to create a new scenario. So don't worry about any of the boxes here, just click skip. And the first element that we will do, we will start with Google Sheets. So let's type uh, Sheets over here and let's click on Google Sheets. And the first thing that we will be using will be Watch Rows. What we will be doing, we'll be looking for the new rows being added to our list. If you have never used connection with uh, Google Sheets inside of Integromat, then you will have to click Add to add a new connection to your Google Docs um, account. It's fairly straightforward. You just need to click Add and follow the uh, instructions. The first step here will be to select the email list sheet that we've been working on. So let's do that. And the next step is to select the correct sheet inside of our spreadsheet. This will be the email list. Does the table contains headers? Yes, this is the headers in our case. Um, what is the row with headers? We can keep this the same by default. We are having only five columns, five headers, so that's limited. And number of results within a simple, within a first cycle. So this would return only two rows. We want to use more than two rows. We have uh, nine, ten of them. So let's change this row to a hundred so that we are not limited uh, only to two. Okay, and where we want to start this scenario, whether specific record ID or all. Since we are starting, we're going to select all. Okay, so let's give it a test and let's see what this will return to us. Okay, so now in this bubble, we will see that we are receiving bundles with data. Every bundle here contains the name of the person, the email, the subject, the body of the email that we want to use and the row number. We can see that we have returned all the information from that row. What will happen now? We received no additional information because this module return, returns only new rows. So let's add additional row here. And you can see that this new row is visible here. OK, we can reset this back to where we started by choosing where to start and let's go back to all. So we're starting from the default position. 
the next element will be to add new module which will be Gmail and what we want to do we want to send an email here you have to add connection to your Gmail account if you have not used this module before click add and follow the instructions and now let's configure the email in the to instruction you have to add the target email address so we're going to select this from our Google sheet column B called emails as the subject we're going to use a subject from our Google sheet it could be also a hard-coded subject if you don't want to be changing the subject and inside of the content important note you have to use HTML tag so when you are adding a salutation for example hi Sally we have to wrap it in an HTML tag I'm using a simple paragraph tag which I will be also using for the body of the email and for the final signature without the HTML tags the email would just arrive with no line breaks whatsoever we can also click advance to customize how our sender email will be visible to the recipient all right and let's add one final module which will be update a row we want to update each row that this message has been correctly sent let's select the correct spreadsheet and sheet and the row number will be the no row number passed from the first module here we can see all the headers and inside of the send column we're gonna write send all right let's press run once and we can see the emails being successfully sent we can also see those emails being updated here in real time all of those messages are being sent out let's see how this looks inside of the email client all right we can see all our messages are arriving successfully and you can see that following the paragraphs inside of HTML message this is how our message is being displayed as mentioned we can also use other templates so for example now if we would like to send more emails we can add two more people at the bottom repeat the emails or use different emails and then we can use a different template you can see that inside of this template I have actually used uh, HTML tags to bold some text so we are going to use this column and also added a Calendly link and this is what we're going to send out to those people let's run this again so there were two emails that were sent to those people let's check this in email client and here are two emails that have been sent out and you can see that this is using the calendar link which works as a link and it is also using HTML tag that we had to bold the, bold the text now the final step for this scenario to run in the automated way what you need to do is go to Integromat and set the scheduling for this scenario and this way Integromat will check with your Google Sheet in regular intervals um, how, whether there are any new emails that you have added to the list and when, whether anything needs to be sent out so you can do it every certain amount of minutes but you can also do it for example once every day so you can say every day at a specific time or every day of the week you can select which day of the week you would like to use to send it out I hope this scenario was useful for you. Please subscribe to our channel for more business automation videos or visit our website business-automated.com for any custom business automation advice. Mm -hmm.